As the anniversary of its invasion of Ukraine nears, Russian forces pounded the city of Bakhmut on Monday in what NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg said was the beginning of a major, long-feared new offensive. The reality is that we have seen the start already. Because we've seen what, what, what Russia does now, President Putin do now, is to send in thousands of thousands of more troops, um, accepting a very high rate of casualty. Military officials said Ukrainian defenders, who have held on for months, were braced for new ground attacks. Bakhmut is a prime objective for Russian President Vladimir Putin, and its capture would give Russia a new foothold in the Donetsk region and a rare victory after several months of setbacks. Donetsk and Luhansk regions make up the Donbas, Ukraine's industrial heartland, now partially occupied by Russia, which wants full control. The assault on Bakhmut has been spearheaded by mercenaries of the Wagner Group, who have made small but steady gains. The renewed Russian bombardments made the situation there even more acute. The Ukrainian military reported Russian shelling all along the front line and said 16 settlements had been bombarded near Bakhmut, including the frontline village of Chasivyar, where volunteers worked to evacuate families while Ukrainian fighters held their ground despite difficult weather. Unit Commander Anton Fedorenko called the territory home. That's why we are holding on to it by nails and teeth and will stay here. And we hope that we will be provided with weapons, we will have something to respond with, and we will be able to launch a counteroffensive as soon as the weather allows it because now we cannot move forward, even if we have the weapons to do so because of the soil and weather conditions. The United Nations Human Rights Office said on Monday that it had recorded more than 7,000 civilian deaths and nearly 12,000 injured since the February 24th invasion, mostly from shelling and missile and airstrikes, but said it believed the actual figure was much higher. Stoltenberg said he saw no sign that Putin was preparing for peace or willing to respect Ukraine's sovereignty. What we see is that President Putin and Russia uh, still wants to control Ukraine. Um, and therefore, uh, the only way to ensure that Ukraine prevails as a sovereign nation is to continue to provide uh, military support to Ukraine. Stoltenberg said NATO allies were now beginning to consider sending aircraft to help Ukraine's defense, saying help is urgently needed.